With no chili in the immediate vicinity, John, one of the cameramen, being a mad keen angler, just cannot resist taking matters into his own hands. We've got to get a shot. Must have stills of John. Now normally I'm to be found behind the camera, but with John and Chili both having caught, the guys very kindly said that the next fish could be mine. So when the rod went, I put down my camera, grabbed the rod and held on tight. It's um, seeing the people's faces when they get the first one to pound or when that fish first bolts off and they're down the bank. And it's just, it's just a good buzz, a real good buzz. It's kind of like trying to hang on to the uh, arse end of a tube train as it's leaving Camden Station with the driver who's late for tea. Passengers all over the floor and me with my arms being yanked out of my sockets. It's the fight you get off them. Um, I mean, it's pure adrenaline seeing people's faces when they hook into one, um, as we've seen today. Um, it's just brilliant, you know, you, you can't beat that. That's your first catfishing experience, Phil, then. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Um, I've been guiding for about two and a half years now. I just come out on a holiday and with one of my friends and we just thought, I just thought, actually, I like this lot. This is, this is a lot for me, so I've been here ever since. <laughs> I think I've let more line up than I've reeled in, if I'm honest. <laughs> We all sort of making that creaking noise like you get in those old horror movies where you've got an old sailing ship that's about to be mullered by some creature from beneath the sea. I kind of know how the crew felt a little bit. Yeah, Chili, I think you might have been done in, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh -oh. It's all the damn show, man. <laughs> ah, 133. 133. Well done, mate. Very much, sir. Excellent. Cheers. Now there's one little tradition for making it into the 100 club that Chile seems to have missed out on. <laughs> yeah, thanks Paul. Now I have to say that having such enthusiastic and hard-working guides was making it a red letter day for all of us. You get to get up about 7 o'clock in the morning, get all the tackle ready into the vans, and then um, about 8 o'clock we go off, and 9 o'clock we're fishing on the bank. I'll get, I'll get home around about 8, 9 o'clock again at the night time and I don't get to bed till about 1 o'clock in the morning <laughs> having a social with the lad. Normally on trips like this it's the punters that do all the fishing but as far as we were concerned it was share and share alike. This particular fish is probably the first one I've caught in uh, probably two months because you're out here fishing with uh, clients basically uh, you're not here to fish yourself, you're bringing people out and, and catching them fish. Good night, I'm going to stop them. Mm. Oh, six. Oh, no, six. Oh, yeah! You know, you, you can't beat it, the way life's great. Um, the weather's brilliant and, and the fishing's fantastic, so, you know, what, what more could you ask for? Oh, it's... See you soon, mate.